President Joe Biden is back on the trail ahead of the midterm. Today he stopped in the battleground state of Pennsylvania to tout his infrastructure law and stump for Democratic Senate candidate John Fetterman. But it comes at a time when some Democrats are keeping their distance from the president. ABC's M. Nguyen explains. President Joe Biden in the battleground state of Pennsylvania, touting his bipartisan infrastructure investments at the Fern Hollow Bridge, which collapsed in January. Pennsylvania has been able to repair Fern Hollow Bridge in less than a year. And by Christmas, God willing, we'll be walking. I'm coming back to walk over to sucker. The president also joining Democratic Senate candidate John Fetterman at a fundraiser for one of the most competitive races in the country. John, thank you uh, very much for... Uh, for running, I really do appreciate it. It's a move few Democratic candidates have dared to do as Biden's approval ratings hover at 42.5%, according to 538. So this is a marked change for Fetterman, who has really avoided the president. That avoidance seen in some Senate candidates like Georgia's Raphael Warnock and Wisconsin's Mandela Barnes, who have both kept their distance from Biden, though are now welcoming former President Obama to their state in the coming weeks. Back in Pennsylvania, polls have Fetterman slightly ahead of his opponent, Republican TV doctor Mehmet Oz, who accused Fetterman on Fox's Sean Hannity show of being soft on crime. Oz also calling out Fetterman for previously criticizing fracking, which is prominent in some parts of the state. That's insulting to people who are making their living in that area. It actually destroys communities. Wednesday, Fetterman, who suffered a stroke five months ago, got a clean bill of health from his doctor, who said the candidate no longer needs to abide by any restrictions on the campaign trail. He's recently been giving longer speeches attacking his opponent. Oz doesn't care about Pennsylvania. Fetterman and Oz are scheduled to face off in their first and only debate next Tuesday, just two weeks before Election Day. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.